guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to make a simple video on how to achieve your kaftan jumpsuit dress now this form of dress is basically your kaftan and also your jumpsuits without having any joining at the waistline so if you're interested in learning how to achieve this please stay tuned and don't forget to join us on facebook t designs on instagram tg designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website and all the details are going to be in the description box below now i'm also going to say that in order for you to understand this style better if you don't know how to cut and sew, how to cut and sew your kaftan please i have a detailed tutorial where i explained how to achieve your kaftan dress i'm going to go ahead and put that link in the description box below please check it out in order for you to know how to achieve your kaftan dress after watching this tutorial now i also have a tutorial where i explain how to achieve your jumpsuits without any joining at the waistline so i'm also going to put the link of that video in the description box please go ahead and check out those videos in order for you to have a very depth knowledge on this style okay because this style is basically your combination of your booboo dress and also your jumpsuits without joining so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this style we need your shoulder measurements your bust your waist your hip and your gown length now our uh, shoulder measurements is 24 inches i know you might want to ask that how are you able to achieve your 24 inches 24 inches is basically too much for your shoulder measurements and basically there are two ways in which you can achieve this the first one is to have your shoulder measurements plus your sleeve measurements and when it comes to your sleeve measurements it totally depends on where you desire the length to get up to that will serve as your booboo -boo dress so you can determine that you want it to get to this point or this point or this point it depends on what you want at the end of the day so in order for you to take your measurements kindly place your tape measure at your center back and take it up to your desired length okay now the second method you have is the combination of your shoulder measurement to your sleeve measurement so let's say for an example our sleeve length is 10 inches our shoulder measurement is 7 you can just go ahead and add it up you have 17 inches so you can either take your measurement directly or you add your sleeve measurement to your shoulder measurement so now we have our shoulder measurements bust waist hip and also your gown length in the course of this tutorial i'm also going to explain to you guys how to get your crotch measurements especially this form of dress where you have your booboo -boo effect so just stay tuned and make sure you watch this video till the end so our shoulder measurement is 24 we we'll just go ahead and add two inches basically and the reason why we are adding two inches is just for our sewing allowance so plus two inches we have 26 inches our bust is 36 36 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11 inches our waist is 30 30 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 inches our hip is 38 38 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11 0.5 inches our gown length is 60 60 plus 2 we have 62 inches now you should also know that when you fold your fabric because what you want to achieve is your booboo -boo dress so you are basically going to use your shoulder measurement to fold your fabric which you are going to understand better in the course of the tutorial now another thing you can also do is to go ahead and add inches to your basic measurements from when you are calculating your measurements or you can do that when you are cutting okay i'll explain that when i'm cutting but you can also go ahead and add it to your basic measurements at this point or you add it when you want to shape it which i'm going to explain in the course of this tutorial so if you are adding it at this point just go ahead and determine how many inches extra you want to add to it and note that the number of inches you add it totally depends on you so you can go ahead and add five inches or across your measurements you can add four you can add six but note that this is a very free form of dress and you are basically to add to your measurements okay so if you go ahead now and you add five inches we are going to have 16 go ahead and add five inches we are going to have 14.5 
14.5 you add 5 inches we are going to have 16.5 so these are basically the measurements we are going to use now don't forget please if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on please drop it in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe trainings are available both online training and physical training and I'm going to put all the details in the description box below so now let's go ahead to the cutting part of this tutorial hi guys so this is what we have we are making use of this African print so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fold our fabric into four now we folded our fabric into four and this is what we have so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your shoulder measurement so don't forget that I explained there are two ways in which you can get your shoulder measurement the first one is to take your measurements directly and the second one is to add your shoulder measurement to your sleeve measurements and this is because what we want to achieve is a booboo form of dress okay so for me now I have 22 inches so you fold your fabric making use of what you have for your shoulder measurement so if what you have for your shoulder measurement is 26 inches it means you are going to fold your fabric with 26 inches all the way down so once you are done now the next thing we are basically going to do is to go ahead and mark our basic measurement so my shoulder to bust I have nine inches I have my shoulder to bust I have nine inches I have a detailed tutorial where I explain distance calculation how to calculate your bust to waist waist to hip I'm going to go ahead and put down the details of that video in the description box please go ahead and watch the video after watching this so our uh, bust to waist now we have eight inches bust to waist we have eight inches waist to hip we have nine inches waist to hip we have nine inches waist to knee length we have 18 inches waist to knee length i have 18 inches so this is what we have we have our knee length we have our hip line our waistline and our bust line so the first thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your neckline okay so the wideness of your neckline totally depends on how wide you want it to be so for me now for my wideness i'm going to make use of three inches for the wideness of the neckline we have three inches for the wideness we have three inches and for the depth i'm going to make use of five inches for the depth so at the end of the day we have three inches by five and this is what our neckline looks like so what you are going to do next now to get your trousers form don't forget that this form of booboo we are going to have our trousers form now come down to where you have your gown length go ahead and mark three inches on your gown length go ahead and mark three inches on your gown length so this is what you have you have three inches if you're on a plus size or a big size you can make use of four inches okay so we have three inches now now how will you know where this flap line should stop now between your hip line and your knee line go ahead and check out what you have between your hip line and your knee line so i have nine inches difference so i'm going to go ahead now and mark the midpoint of it which is somewhere around here so this is the midline between my hip line and my knee line so i'm going to go ahead now and just connect this to this point okay just go ahead now and connect it to this point so this is what it looks like just connect your three inches to the midpoint between your hip line and your knee line so this will serve as your crotch line so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead now and cut this out So I'm going to go ahead now and cut out this line. Please, if you have any questions in the course of this tutorial, please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any video you want us to make, okay? So we've gone ahead now to cut this out. Now, the other thing we are going to cut out now is our neckline. I told you guys that this is a very simple form of dress, like very easy to achieve. So now I'll go ahead now and open this up guys 
can you see the lower part that gives us our trousers and also our booboo effect can you see what it looks like let me zoom out so that you guys can see it okay so can you see what the lower part looks like you can see that we're able to achieve this trouser effect and what we did basically was we took off three inches when it's folded into two and then went ahead to mark the distance the middle point between our hip and our knee length which is this line and then we cut it out to this point so you can see our trouser effect and you can also see that what we also have is our boo boo this style is so sweet like very easy and very unique okay so let's go ahead now and cut it out so let me show you guys the second part so you can basically use any part for your front block and any part for your back block okay it depends for it for both your front block and your back block you are going to have the same thing so whichever one you use for your front block is fine so you can see that for the other piece also this is what we have so the next thing we are going to do now the next thing we are going to do now please if you have any question drop your question in the comment section and don't forget to watch our previous video on how to achieve your distance calculation that will enable you to know how we got our bust line our waistline and our hip line and i'm going to put down the link in the description box below and in case you don't know how to cut a booboo dress i also have a tutorial on how to cut a booboo dress okay so please watch that tutorial just check out the link in the description box Box and watch the series of videos that has to do with this okay now the next thing we are going to do now is we want to couple this up to give us our dress okay now you basically go ahead now and m your neckline so you can either m your neckline with a bias or you m your neckline with a facing it depends on what you usually use so i'll go ahead now and end my neckline once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like and i will do that for the two pieces so guys now we've gone ahead now to m the neckline so after aiming the neckline this is what you have so the next thing you're basically going to do now is you are going to place like the front facing each other right so you place it on each other you go ahead now and stitch the shoulder so you stitch the shoulder of this part and also you stitch this other part of the shoulder so once you are done you are going to come down to where we have this uh trousers effect right you are going to come down to where we have this trousers effect and then you are going to go ahead and stitch this so once i'm done stitching it i'll show you guys what it looks like but make sure that after stitching it you go ahead and notch it so that it can lay well so i'll go ahead now and stitch this part and i'll also stitch the shoulder part so once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys our dress is almost ready and i'm so happy about that so we've gone ahead now to stitch our shoulder you can see what it looks like and on the lower part where we have our trousers effect we've also gone ahead to stitch it and don't forget i said that you are basically going to notch it so that it can lay well so this is what it looks like now the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead now and add achieve our booboo effect okay we basically want to achieve our booboo effect and just like your regular booboo where you basically stitch on the front part of your fabric that is what we are also going to do in this form of this form of dress right in this dress so now this is the center line how did i know this is my center line because of this pointed part at the lower side so i'm basically just going to connect this all the way up just connect this all the way up to give us like a uh, center line so once you are done now the next thing you are basically going to do now is to go ahead and take your measurements so we are going to first take our arm o measurements so this is our shoulder now to arm o i have nine and a half inches nine and a half inches now now from this arm o to waist we have eight inches which is bust to waist eight inches waist to hip nine inches so nine inches this is what we have so what we are going to do now is we are going to take our bust measurements on our bust line so for our bust measurements now we have 11 inches it simply means that from this center front now we are going to mark 11 inches so 
go ahead now and stitch that for your waist now we have 9.5 inches so i'll go ahead and stitch 9.5 inches for my hip line this is our hip line we have 11.5 so we'll go ahead now and mark 11.5 inches so we are basically going to stitch this on the front okay just like your normal booboo on the front so you can see what we have now you are also going to go ahead now and do the same for this other part you mark your 11 inches on this side because you are going to stitch on the front right this is your waistline on your waistline you mark your waist measurements 9.5 Please, if you have any questions, feel free to drop your questions in the comment section. On the hip line, we are going to mark our hip measurements, which is 11.5. So we'll connect the lines together. This is what we have. Now, this is your hip line, right? This is your hip line. This is what you have. Now, we've gone ahead now to mark this part, which happens to be our hip measurement, right? So, the next thing you're basically going to do now is you are basically going to extend this hip measurement all the way to your gown length. Now, there are two ways in which you can achieve this lower part. If you want your lower part to give you a fitted pencil trousers effect if you want this lower part to give you a fitted trousers effect you basically go ahead and extend what you have on your hip line all the way down right all the way down you basically extend it all the way down so if you extend this all the way down you will see that at this lower part now you will see that at this lower part you have your pencil trousers right you will see that at this lower part you have your pencil trousers you can see this is your pencil trousers and then you have your upper block which happens to be your boo boo right so this is what i basically have now you can just basically play around this at this lower part just in case if you want to have like an open side um, slit at the lower part you can decide that you want this your hip line to stop wherever you want so if you stop stitching to this point it means that this lower part is going to be free like a booboo effect right it means that this lower part is going to be free like a booboo effect that is if you decide that you want to stitch it to somewhere around this part however you can decide to stitch it all the way down to give you your pencil effect it depends on you and what you want to achieve at this lower part so i'll go ahead now and stitch this and note that you are basically stitching it on the front side of your fabric that is the essence why i marked this on the front part of the fabric so we'll go ahead now and stitch this all the way and we'll stop at this point so once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like so now the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and m the sides so you're basically aiming it like one one separately right now another thing i also want to say is that while you are stitching your bust line your waistline please add inches to it okay so if your bust line is 11 inches your bust measurements go ahead and add four to five inches to it and the reason why you are adding inches to it is so that this part of the dress can be free and so it can fit you easily okay if you make use of your exact measurement it simply means that you might have to create an opening at this back but if you don't want it to have opening at the back add to your bust measurements your waist measurements and your hip measurements so i went ahead to add about five inches to it five inches to my bust measurement five inches to my waist and five inches to my hip and that is what i did all the way down okay so normally if you are to have 11 inches at this part if this is 11 inches from let me just explain it again so if this is your center line so if this is your center line now you've gone ahead now to mark your bust measurement to be 11 inches so you basically add four to five inches add four to five inches if your waist measurement is 9.5 you go ahead and add five inches also five inches our uh, hip measurement is 11.5 you go ahead and add five inches so this five inches is for ease allowance so the five inches will serve as your ease allowance so this is what you have 
so it is this five inches that you've added to your basic measurement that you are going to connect all the way to your gown length this is this five inches line you are going to connect all the way to your gown length so please make sure you add five inches to your regular measurements this is to give you ease around your body measurement so now i've gone ahead to stitch it okay i've stitched that i just wanted to point out that so that you guys will have that in mind why you are sewing it because i noticed that i showed you guys how to mark your 11 inches 9.5 but basically you have to add inches to it while you stitch so now this is what it looks like so cute i'm going to go ahead now and fit this on the mannequin and show you guys what it looks like but if you have any question please drop your questions in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe hi guys so once you are done this is what we have you can see that we have our booboo effect so i went ahead to spread the arms so that you guys can see how full the booboo dress looks like so this is basically what you have for the upper part which is your booboo effect now when you come down to your lower part you can see that we have our trousers effect at the lower part and basically you can see where your crotch line is you can see your trousers effect at the lower part and then while at the upper part basically you have your booboo effect and it's so cute guys you can see your trousers effect at the lower side so please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe let me know if you have any question in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye